Hey guys, and welcome back to Guild Wars 2 for our brand new demo for Halloween 2020. Let's see what we have. This week we're going to start off with the brand new Black Line chest, which is the Vermilion Autumn chest. Got our Evan Nash Bay Trick or Treat bag, which is just a fancy trick or treat bag with lots of more uh, junk items you can sell. Very handy. And you get a few chances at new skins as well. I believe this is the new one. Visigo, I believe, is new. I think all the other ones are returning. I believe. I think this is the only new one this year. But then again, I might be wrong. That might have been there yet last year. It's got like octopus tendrils. It's very weird. Very, very weird, that is. Though it has the same movement as, the, as Frostfang, I think. Anyway, um, the rest of the chest. Let's have a look. We've got the Merciless Weapons back. We've got the Vermilion Throne. And the Sand Lion Warclaw are the new items. As well as the Dark Matter Cape returning from last uh, chest. We also have all of the Halloween weapons. So the Chainsword, you know, the Ghastly Grinning Shield. We've got the Gird Rifle. Actually, I got that last Halloween. Maybe I'll get some like that again this year that will be nice okay so with that let's open up this chest and see what we get right. let's do it four. here we go wardrobe unlock right off the bat another one right off the bat okay a few wardrobe unlocks we got uh, ticket scrap there that's good revive orb we do have new uh, tickets that's just a guaranteed unlock isn't it that's an armor unlock my bad die kit we got the lion's arch rebuilt another one there another guaranteed we're getting lots of guaranteed wardrobe unlocks today very nice to see what die kits that that's the elonian landscape die kit another armor unlock commemorative coin Tyrian exchange voucher Rare and valuable. upgrade extractor teleport friend some materials uh, it's all right so far. Halfway through our 30 coins. Nothing amazing so far. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There's some mats. Give me something nice. Give me something nice. Give me something nice. Seven more keys. Oh, no. Six more. It's getting... Oh, no. Rare and valuable. It is rare and valuable, but I want more. Oh, yes! Oh, we got the mount. Very nice. Awesome. I'm happy with that now. <laughs> From moaning to grinning. Love it. We get 38. Wow, that's a lot of statuettes. Okay. I'm glad I got the mount. Okay, let's condense all this stuff. I just bought that with uh, some statuettes. So we got some transportation charges. We got some materials. Let's do materials first. This is the materials we're looking at. One mystic coin, not bad. A bit of leather, a bit of trophies. Not too bad. Uh, dies. Here we go. Ooh, quite a few rares, actually. Which is awesome. Here we go. Okay, let's start off with our basic ones. We've got mahogany, which is... 11 copper. We got mushroom. 90 copper. We got banana. 13 copper. We got... What was it, blue shade? 11. And finally, arrogance 4, 16. Moving up to our greens, we got graphite. 149, and we got brook. 149 as well. Uh, we got spearmint die, which don't have, so we can unlock that. Only 8 silver. Enameled amenity. 893, very nice. I'm going to unlock that as well. It's going to drop in price very soon. Enameled strawberry. Another 815. Very good. 
antique bronze. I know you're gonna give it out to me, but the price is about to crash because it's gone back on the um the chest. So I'm like, it's either get eight gold or get like five gold later today, or I could wait. I I could wait like three weeks. I suppose. I'm sorry. I should have waited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, next we have, let's do our wardrobe unlocks, and then we'll move into our trick-or-treat bags, and then we'll go for the new weapons, and then finally we'll wrap up with the sandline war claw. So here are wardrobe unlocks, got the fuzzy cat hat. <laughs> That's nice actually, I like that. I put that on. I'll be funny in a char. Mask of the Wanderer. What's well, not bad either? What's that from? Oh, it's Gem Store. And Draconic Coat. Which means I finished my Mistword Plate, which is handy. Quite a and there's our uh, <laughs> Rev I armor. Okay. Uh, guaranteed wardrobe unlock, inquest breastplate. We got the deathly avian shoulder pads, and we got the grasping dead greaves. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, let's open up our trick or treat bags. So as I said, it's basically just a really, really nice trick or treat bag. So let's get into it. Here we go. Valuable. Poof. Uh, so you get like six gold here. Oh wow, thirty gold there, very nice. Another ten gold, you know what I mean? It's just loads and loads and loads of money in these guys at the moment. If you're opening lots of them, and let's have a look at where we get to. We're at four ninety-eight, and we are now five sixty-three. So it's about I'll be on my way. about sixty-five gold or so. Which is very, very handy. Okay. Uh, next up, we're going to have a quick look at the Dark Matter skins. These presumably are based off of the cape. Oh, wow. Oh, my, oh, my. They're quite cool. <laughs> Use the short bow. Oh, I look quite like them. Oh, no. I really do quite like them. That's a... <laughs> that's, a cool, that's a cool set. I like that effect. Not a massive fan of the guns, but that effect is really nice. Ooh, I like that torch. It's nice. And the axe. The axe is really cool. Oh. <laughs> that is the Dark Matter set, currently in the Black Line uh, ticket claims for weapons, so they'll probably be there for a month or so, at least. And finally, we have the Sand Lion Warclaw. Let's get him on. Ooh, he's got a nice mount-up effect, and he's pretty much a... Uh, I would more call him a Rock Lion. Then a sand line. I guess sand stony. He looks pretty nice though. Does he have an idol? That is the question. Let's find out. I believe that's the basic one. I don't know my war clause very well.
Got a nice growl to him. Okay, I don't think he has an idol, which is unfortunate, but let's have a look at the dies. So, this is the default die set here. Kind of rocky, earthy. Honey butter, mushroom, refresh, and marine. This is all Shadow Abyss. Looks very odd. But, let's have a look. Top left is going to be the... Face, and you have the kind of main part of his body and torso there, as well as the tail. Top right is going to be his paws and a little bit of the underbelly. Bottom left is going to be the main, like all the rocky bits, as well as the bottom of his tail. So, just pretty much where the hair would be in a real line, I guess. And, or the long, the main, basically, yeah. And then, bottom right is the aura. And his eyes as well, actually. I think. Yeah, his eyes as well. Very nice. That is the Sand Lion Warclaw. So, very briefly, just gonna quickly... Did I just whistle as I say quick? I think I did. I'm just going to quickly show off the Warclaw on a few different characters. So here it is on Norn, just to get like the height perspective and everything. And a few different colors too. I like it. It I like how it pushes the the really heavy rock forward. It puts its head down so the rock gets the front of the blow when it's charging. That's kind of cool. Also, I never looked at the. Oh, there's water there. <laughs> also, I never looked at the engage skill. I presume it's just very similar. Yeah, it's pretty much the default. I keep pressing X instead of 7. Very nice. Here we are on a human. I need like a really flat area. <laughs> Which I guess is why I do this in the desert normally. Here we go. Very nice. I really like how it puts its head down to charge protection basically it's very very a nice a very nice little touch anyway let's move on this is a terrible map for demos oh my god it's a great map for glider demos though but for mount demos it's a terrible map here we are on char once we can there we go here we are on char with the sand line Again, I really like how it puts its head down. Oh, I do not like when that happens. Oh, no. Thank God it's not Warby World. It looks tiny on Char. It's crazy. Oh, my God. I can't get a good angle. Oh. <laughs> it headbutted the screen. <laughs> it's really hard to get a good angle here. Because it's so hilly. But there it is. Let's move on to our final race, which is Silvari, which is probably going to be very similar to human. But that's okay. Here we are. Not too bad. Ow. That didn't hurt. Wow. Oh, that was going to hurt. Or not. <laughs> oh, 
Right, well that is Silvari 2. Have one more look at the engage. Yeah, there we have it. Right, that is it for Silvari. Let's head back to Quando to wrap up the video. Right, that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you all enjoyed. Uh, it is a very cool chest. Some nice items. I'm going to try open it again. As I said, I want to get that cape. It's pretty cool. And I want to see the new uh, chair as well. I do like myself a few chairs. <laughs> but that is it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back later on tonight with some Halloween. Be doing everything, hopefully. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Halloween is quite a fun event. So yeah, that'll be later on tonight. And don't forget to check out the giveaway as well. Link for that should be in the end screen and should have been in the top right hand of the screen earlier on today in the video. But that is it from me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future. You can join the Discord as well to stay up to date with all things new on the channel, such as new videos, when I go live and a weekly screenshot challenge every Saturday in Guild Wars 2. But that's it for me for today. Hopefully see you later on tonight's stream. And until then, take care.